An empty pool being filled with water at a constant rate takes eight hours to fill to three-fifths of its capacity. How much more time will it take to finish filling the pool? This is a good example of a question that has two approaches to it. So the first approach that I'll describe is the standard sort of physics rate problem approach, which is the more robust approach and would basically answer any rate question that you'd see on GMAT. So this is the way that I would normally suggest that people learn how to do it. The second approach is a little bit more intuitive and is based on the structure of this particular problem. So it's really fast. It's really simple in this case. Are you going to see another problem where you can apply it? That's doubtful. So I'll show you the standard physics approach that is gonna take a little bit longer first, and then we'll go through the quick method for the hot shots. First, physics approach. Let's think about this as a rate question. First step is just establish the rate. So the rate is going to be three-fifths of the capacity, so three-fifths of a pool in eight hours. So that's gonna be three-fortieths of a pool per hour. Now I'm gonna put it into my distance equals rate, times time. For purists, distance can be work done. It doesn't really matter. That's just the shorthand that I'm using. So how much work do we need to do at this point? That's gonna be two fifths of a pool that's remaining because it says how much more time will it take to finish filling the pool, assuming that we've got three fifths filled already from what is stated here. So two fifths of a pool, we know the rate. It's right, three fortieths of a pool per hour. And then we're looking for the number of hours, that's T hours. So check your units, uh, everything cancels, so you're good to go. So invert the 3 40ths and multiply, that's gonna give you 80 over 15 on the left side is your T. That is five and five over 15 or five and one third hours. Five and one third of course is five hours, 20 minutes, not five hours, 30 minutes. Just don't be confused by the three, okay? They know that when you're going fast, you see the three, you might pick 30. Be careful, a third of an hour is obviously 20 minutes. Let's back up now and approach the problem again, the hot shot way. Okay, in this case, starting from scratch, we're told it takes eight hours to fill three-fifths of capacity, or three-fifths of a pool. By that logic, it's gonna take me eight-thirds of an hour to fill one-fifth of the pool. We know that we're looking to finish filling the pool, so that's two-fifths of the pool. So that would imply that 16 thirds of an hour is going to be what it takes to finish filling the pool. That's two fifths of a pool. And lo and behold, 16 over three is five and one third hours. And please don't at this point choose the 30 minutes. It's five hours, 20 minutes, five and one third hours. If you found this video useful, the best way that you can support the channel is to click the like button or subscribe on YouTube. And if you're interested, click the link in the top right corner and you can get our free 23 page properties of numbers guide. So if you're having trouble with those pesky and a annoying properties of numbers questions, this guide will help sort you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.